Taliban fighters have posed next to U.S.-made Black Hawk helicopters and other aircraft seized from Afghanistan's military as the insurgents boasted of their rapid takeover of the country. As the fighters entered Kabul on Sunday, pro-Taliban social media accounts published footage of its forces examining brown-green camouflage Black Hawk aircraft. In the same video, Taliban fighters also showed off Russian-made military helicopters as they reaped the spoils of a lightning-fast offensive across Afghanistan. The footage appeared to be filmed in a hangar at Kandahar Air Base, which until recently was one of the United States' most important bases in Afghanistan. A fighter can be heard claiming that at least five helicopters and several jets were inside the base. The U.S.-made aircraft are estimated to be worth several million dollars each. It was not immediately clear whether the Taliban will be able to fly the helicopters, as several of them appeared to be missing engines and rotor blades. In addition to the Black Hawk, the Taliban appear to have seized a number of Russian-made Mi-17 helicopters. The Black Hawk is perhaps best known for featuring in the 2001 Ridley Scott thriller Black Hawk Down. Analysts say the Taliban's fighters do not have sufficient training to fly the jets themselves, though they may have already captured Afghan Air Force pilots who can do so on their behalf. Two unverified videos posted on social media over the weekend appeared to show aircraft recently seized by the Taliban flying through the air. Even if most of the aircraft are not airworthy, their capture is hugely symbolic for the Taliban and humiliating for Washington, which is powerless to prevent the Taliban from seizing valuable U.S. military hardware. The United States had spent billions of dollars on supplying the Afghan military with weapons, training and equipment to keep the Taliban at bay. The Kandahar video was released just a day after the Taliban captured the city from Afghan forces, which have lost all major cities including Kabul. Images such as these have emerged from cities across Afghanistan that have fallen to the Taliban, showing insurgents posing with captured weapons and patrolling in vehicles once used by Afghan spies and elite forces. Taliban fighters have also seized tactical vehicles, Humvees, small arms and ammunition. Washington supplied much of that hardware to the Afghan military, to the tune of $88 billion since 2002. With U.S. troops all but gone, Taliban fighters are now collecting American-supplied arms and equipment, which was left by retreating Afghan forces.